And what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome into yet another evening with three matches here in Binding of Isaac Grayson League's second season. Good to see everybody once again. Let me get some music going. Ah, much better. Cat, you're sitting on my headphone cable and I can't hear anything. Okay, whatever. Headphones off. On that note, like I said, we got a bunch of good races coming up tonight. And, uh, well, let, let's start by vacuuming the dog. God, I love the gif. Something about that gif is, it's, it's just mesmerizing. Like, I don't know. Just, the dog looks so happy. You can't help but just be like, duh, the entire time. Either way, we got Mellow Ace on the left-hand side with that oh-so-wonderful dog vacuuming gif going on. Holy crap, does he really have... Wow, check that. I just noticed what's on his mini-map, guys. Check out the mini-map on Mellow Aces. We were talking about this last night. Unbelievable right here. So you get to see right now, he's looking at a boss fight. What the heck? Oh, speak, speaking of little things in the corner. Oh, hi. I see you. On the right side, if you look over there real quick, we got RTC, a.k.a. Christina. And if you guys look at the uh, split link, yes, I'm going to call her Christina from time to time. Yeah, just letting you know on that one. It's going to be a little confusing. RTC, a.k.a. Christina, your Arizona Cardinals on the right side. So these two will be facing off in a best two out of three. Excuse me. We race through the womb tube. Uh-oh. Or she's offline. Ruh roh yeah, it's because of the XL Flory, so he's got two boss fights back-to-back. -back. Either way, while Christina comes back online, because for whatever reason, I just lost connection to her. There we go. Now she's back. <laughs> oh, God, it did that to you again. Damn, that sucks. Either way, so she's back online. Oh, I love that gift, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one. Damn it. Either way, we do a best two out of three race through the womb, too. So whoever kills off Mom's heart first is going to get a point at the bottom of the screen where you see the zeros. This gift. Ah, uh, so cute. Either way, uh, so like I said, there are seven banned items that neither of these two can take throughout the uh, uh, throughout the races. Let me get the loop, uh, list here for you. Hopefully the box will actually show them. Of course not. So you cannot pick up Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, the Bible, Toothpicks, or the Shovel. Toothpicks actually you can take, but you're allowed to re-roll them. We just put them into the, uh, the ban list so that racers could re-roll them. We'll get to reasonings on everything else should we see those items. But again, we got uh, two racers here. We got uh, three races coming up tonight, for that matter. So uh, again, uh, if you two are ready, I know they're not on a call, so I'll be doing the countdown for them. And uh, if you two are ready, if you want to fire some shots across the room, we'll figure that out. Also, I'm just staring at that gift now endlessly, so <laughs> either way, if you do want to fire some shots around the room, we'll know that you're good to go. Looks like Melo's clicking back in right now. Looks like RTC's good. Let me make sure Melo's good, though. Have him fire a shot or two. And there we go. Awesome. So it looks like both of these two can hear me. There may be a little bit of a delay again, because, and there you see the split link one more time. Head in there. Remember, I'm recapturing two streams. They're listening to me, so they're going to find out the start time right now as I count it down for them. So there may be a slight delay in the start. Please bear with that. That's just the way it goes. Either way, let's count this thing down. Let's get this going. Best of luck to both racers. And let's do this in three, two, one. Whenever you hear this, take off, and good luck, you two. So again, they'll be taking off here, racing through the womb too. Mellow Ace has got an interesting XL floor with his boss fights looking him in the face right off the bat. So we'll see if he chooses to go right on in here or not. RTC, man, there you see, they're off and running. Has got her item room. Gonna get Sister Maggie, a follower with some pretty nice damaging shots, actually. So a lot of damage up right there. So again, Mellow Ace on in now to his second boss fight as he took Penn out like instantaneously and got a little bit of health up. Going to get Gertie Jr. for his second one. I'm curious what he's going to do here about the uh, the lack of keys and two item rooms on this floor. So I'm really curious now. RTC, ooh, I thought I was going to get a two for one right there and possibly get a secret room. No such luck. At least she gets a few free bombs out of that. Yeah, Mellow's wasting no time. He ain't messing around on this one. I'm, this is why I'm curious. He may skip the item rooms. Keep in mind, on the XL floor, both of these item rooms are going to be locked, unlike in a normal race where RTC got to walk directly into her item room. So Mello would need to find keys also on this floor. On that note, finding things on this floor, RTC's got herself her boss fight, which is Famine. Everybody say, hey, to Famine. There you go, Fallen's got it first. And by the way, again, happy birthday, Fallen Angel. We got some range up for Mello. There you see it. That's what I was thinking, skipping right on down to his caves. Mellow Ace with a, uh, one of the quickest, uh, yeah, floors I think I've probably ever seen in my life. That was kind of ridiculous. No item rooms, though. So we'll see how this pays off for him. So a little bit of range up and health up was all he pulled off of his first two basement floors. RTC's already got some damage up and some shot blocking ability now, along with maybe damage if anything hits that orbital, the Cuba meat she just picked up. That'll block shots for her, and like I said, should she walk that into anything, we'll damage it. Look at these floors. Mellow Ace again. Item room and boss fight now right next to each other. Yeah, he's grinning ear to ear right now. I can see it. You can't even hold that one back. That that 
subtle grin isn't really hiding too well. <laughs> Excuse me. Either way, on to his Caves 1, his third boss fight already. So that should tell you the lead he's working on. RTC looking for her second item room and second boss fight still. Mello has skipped every item room to this point for A, lack of keys, and B, the fact that his XL floor on the first two floors was immediate two boss fights. So he's cleared very few rooms and is already looking at his third boss. This is kind of ridiculous right now. Speaking of bosses though, RTC coming across the Widow for her second. So she'll be moving on down to the floor that Mello's on as soon as she takes this boss out. Again, still an advantage here on Mello's side. He's hoping to get a key though so he can get into this item room because it's going to start to get pretty sketchy if he doesn't start getting some items here. Alright, a little bit of health up and a devil deal for Christina. Let's see which RTC, sorry. And, oh wow, Spirit of the Night, yep, it's her namesake today. By the way, she's got Spirit of the Night on her hat, if I'm not mistaken, today. Kind of uh, keeping her company and uh, trying to give her some good luck. Comes across it in a Devil Deal, is willing to spend two hearts on it, and gets Flying and Spectral ability on her tiers. So you can see she can fly right over openings and rocks, and gets that key. So again, one key to get into her item room when she sees it. So again, both now on the same floor. Mello just about done with the boss fight here. Really hoping for the box of items, I think, so he gets a key. If not, he's really open for damage. Pentagram? Nope. Health up. Go figure. A little bit of health back, and no bomb to get to that key, so he's just going to say no thanks. On to the caves, too. So again, RTC with an XL floor here. Just like we saw with Mello, we'll have two boss fights back-to-back. -back. Also, the two item rooms that Mello skipped over on his basement. And there again, you see the split link. There's a key for Mello. Finally, the first one of the run comes in caves, too. Mind you, he hasn't cleared many rooms, but his first key finally picked up on the left side. So he'll be able to get into an item room if he finds it this time. And something tells me he's going to go looking for one. He's going to need some damage or something. And into this curse room, like I said, he's got to find something at this point. The complete lack of item rooms is going to wind up hurting. There's the first one. Mello's finally going to get something on this build. Or maybe just a little bit of follower damage with spectral tears it's very base damage on ghost baby you can see the uh kind of gray ghostish looking shots on ghost baby yeah they'll go through rocks that's about it they're really not that great but it is a little bit more damage and mellow needs it yeah mellow's going total insano just rah, running straight forward at it mode at the moment he's going crazy with this one i like the i like the method Again, if you guys were here last night for uh, Tamorag's race, he did kind of the same, like, all right, I have to try this mode. But he got it with items that he spent all of his health on in a double deal, so it worked slightly differently. Ooh, speaking of this, we got two items on RTC side to catch up on. She just picked up Eve's Dead Bird, which, should she get hit, will make a bird pop out of her that will do damage, hopefully, to anything in the room that is uh, that basically should be counted as an enemy. Now, note that I say that. It'll run into some really stupid stuff, like, for example, the guy in the middle, if it were closed and unable to take damage, the bird would still sit on top of it, thinking that it was hurting it. So there's a few stupid moments with that bird. It'll also completely miss enemies. Now, the good thing about it, <laughs> not about that item, but she also got the curved horn. The trinket will actually up her damage by two on her tier, so pretty nice find right there. That's up, Kev. How you doing tonight? And again, what's up, absolutely everybody? Good to see one and all. Thank you guys and gals once again for all the support. And again, speaking of that, if you would do a favor and support both of the racers by heading to their channels, here comes a link for you. All right, a couple free bombs coming here from Mellow Ace, so at least he finally gets something in the form of items. Still looking for the boss fight here in Caves 2. Again, these two kind of even at the moment, as it looks. Devil card will multiply uh, Mello's damage by time and a half. He's found his boss fight, by the way, as well. Although down to just this half a heart, he does at least have three bombs. What do you do? He's going to go for the boss fight. And we got Peep, so, ooh, with an interesting setup, too. At least that'll block some shots for him. That's probably the best setup that Mello could have gotten for this Peep fight, honestly. Note that he's using the rocks to actually block some of those multi-shots by Peep. That's actually going to work very, very well for him if he can keep it lined up. And speaking of looking for other rooms, RTC's come across her second of the two item rooms here on this floor. Does have keys to get in, so we'll see what she gets momentarily. Again, down it's just the two hearts herself. Technically three and a half if you count her soul hearts, but just the two containers. Ooh, Robo Baby, that'll be a definite pickup. 
So a follower with uh, laser tears, you'll see, there you go, that red laser going across the room is the Robo Baby. Pretty decent damage, not the best thing again, but hey, more damage followers? Yes, please. Any type of tears, especially clearing the entire room, come in very handy. Yep, match number one between these two. So we'll have a best of three coming up here. And then we got three uh, total matches tonight, or three total races, I should say, tonight. And if you guys look back on the uh, front page of Boiler.org, all but one so far this week have gone a full-on uh, best of three. So we should have a lot of good stuff ahead of us here. Pinky Eye that uh, RTC will leave behind would give her a 10% chance of adding poison to some of her shots. Wow, four champion mobs in one room? Really? That's, that's a record. I've never seen four champion mobs in one room before. That's a new one to me. Either way, Mellow finishing off Heap does a very good job right there. I'm going to move on down to his Depths 1 just slightly before RTC can. She's got her back-to-back -back boss fights here. Ooh, very nice. What's up, Dark? So all those extra items for RTC, she isn't going to worry about the money whatsoever. But wow, four champion mobs in one room. That definitely has got to be a record right now. Uh, how far ahead is Mellow? About one room. So RTC's got this boss fight and one more, and she'll be on the same floor that Mellow Ace is on. And Mellow is in a mini boss fight right now, so technically that's his first room of that floor that he's just now cleared. So he's got about a two-room advantage at this point. It'll keep building up just slightly. No, it's not two floors. RTC's got herself one more boss fight, and then we'll be right onto the same floor. She's got an XL Caves. Note that it's got two boss doors here. The next, oop, speaking of, let's see those no crowns just for fun. <laughs> RTC going to take it, take a little bit of the money, but there's Gertie for her. So that's her Caves 2 boss fight right there is what I was trying to get across. So it's just a couple room advantage right now for Mellow Ace. And keep in mind, he skipped a few item rooms, so RTC's probably got the better build if you want to think about it that way. And if you look at her tiers, she's definitely got much more damage output. So she's probably in that aspect got an advantage, but if Mellow Ace were to come across either boss room or item room here, he's going to build up a slight more advantage on his side. So they're pretty dead even. Yeah, maybe kind? Yeah. <laughs> we need another emote with like a question mark over the crown for maybe crown. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of health up there for RTC. Her third red heart, and she'll be moving on down to the depths. Ooh, this could play interesting. She might have an XL floor again as she gets a loading screen error. Up, oh, up. Oh, wait for it. Come on, Flash. Come on. You, you can do it. You, you, you can do it. You really can. This is Flash just being a douchebag. It's been doing this all week, guys. Flash does not like our racers this week for some reason. That's a Delta. How you doing? Do, do, do. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> RTC, I love that thing. I freaking love that. Yeah, just tease Flash. It's all good, man. Oh, don't loop her. Don't loop her. This has been happening a lot this week, too. Oh, there we go. So an XL floor. Now this is going to play interesting, folks. RTC technically might have just gotten an advantage here. She's got, once again, an XL floor as we see Emilio coming across his item room for Depths 1. Again, RTC going to have two item rooms and two boss fights back-to-back, -back, so double XLs all the way across the sky. But what does it mean, man? So there's your uh, proof again. Like people were saying, no, if it takes that long, you can't get an XL floor. Twice this week. Yeah, we got an XL race brew in here. Apparently we don't, we're doing a large Marge challenge week. Little did we know. God, that'd be brutal. We should do that. Ooh, nice find finally for Mellow Ace. All stats up except for his speed is actually going to drop by one with uh, Super Meat Boy Super Fan. But a good item nonetheless. He needed that damage up in a bad way. Also gave him a health up too. So that's huge at the moment for Mellow Ace. Also RTC finding the first of her two item rooms here. How's up, Nick? How you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, sorry for the throw clearing, guys. I'm getting a little bit of allergies hitting me here, so I do apologize. Anyways, we got War for Mellow Ace's boss fight. This is going to wind up giving him one cube of meat just like you see on RTC. That'll float around blocking shots, and if he walks into anything, we'll do some damage. I'll be real honest, I did not see what was sitting in RTC's item room that she left behind, obviously, but I did not see what it was. That's some Tornus. How you doing tonight, man? Our Denver Broncos, Mr. Tornus. Somebody wants to link him up, by the way. Please do so. Same goes for all of our racers. You can do this the real easy way. Okay, now that one's a spam bot. Let's see if I can make 
this work? Nope, that isn't gonna work. That worked. There we go. All right, we're just about down, though. Ooh, I was gonna say that speed down might have haunted Mellowace, but still worked out just fine. There's that Cuban meat, a little bit of heal back up. That two of spades he's holding onto will double up the keys he's got. Now the trick with the two of spades, and two of clubs for that matter. Let's say that you have one of each, just like Mellowace does. He's holding onto that item because if you run out of those, like the, the two of spades in this case, would give him two keys. If you run out, he still gets two keys. So either way he uses it right now, he'll get two keys out. Well, he'll only get one key out of it if he uses it right now. If he uses up his other key first, then uses the two of spades, he gets two keys out of it. So Mel is playing this very smart right now. It's another thing to think about when you're playing. But yeah, Mel is going hardcore mode on this one. He got an XL floor on the basement with his boss fights right off the bat. Killed off the two bosses, went right on down to the caves. So skipped over his very first two item rooms and has had to skip a third one right after that, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, he's had a pretty crazy run up to this point. It's it's pretty dead even here. We got Mellow on Depths 2, we got RTC on a Depths XL floor. So technically both on Depths 2, if you want to look at it. But again, RTC still has two boss fights to get through. Mellow's just got the one. It'll all depend on when they come across these rooms. And again, Mellow pretty low on health. RTC not exactly like at the top tier of health herself. So we'll see how this pans. That's a walk. How you doing? How's up, Mars? Good to see you tonight. Foos, what's up, sir? We spoke of you earlier. Suddenly you appear. It's like he knew. Ooh, them dodges. All right, so RTC taking a slight bit of damage there. Those masks are just evil. The, or not masks, but the knights are just evil enemies. Excuse me. That's a Leo. How you doing? Yes, the item rooms on XL floors are always locked on the first floors. That is correct. So basically, Mello didn't want to bother looking for keys. He left behind both of his item rooms. Now, if you look at it the way that RTC started, she had a regular basement one. It might have been a cellar. I kind of forget. Either way, uh, she had a regular version of the floor. Her first one was wide open. The, uh, uh, the item room was wide open for her to walk right into. Did not need a key. Both of Mellow's on basement, however, would have required a key, so he just skipped right over both of them. That's an eclipse. How you doing? And good to see you, poet. All right, so Curse of Darkness on Mellow makes it real tough for me to figure out where he's going to find his boss fight here. But speaking of boss fights, we got RTC finding both of hers for the depth, so again, this could put her definitely into a lead here. And again, Mellow down at just this half a heart has got to play it really safe on his side. Again, we got Gish for on uh, RTCs for the first boss fight. That'll wind up with little Gish following around her. So, oh, that's painful. Mellow down on the left. I was going to just update that, but Mellow down on the left. So all the way back to the beginning, giving RTC a very distinct advantage at the moment. And again, that's the risk you take. Mellow found himself a real interesting starting floor and decided to skip over the two item rooms. So he put himself at a little bit of a disadvantage there. All right, new item room for Mello. Uh, wait for wow, he isn't even gonna look at it. He's just gonna go see what's in the uh, the, the curse room first. Uh, it's probably gonna wind up being a, well, maybe not. A little bit more health, a little bit more luck. Uh, Mello wind up taking the way for he'll run with this one. RTC on into her second boss fight. There you see uh, little Gish following around her, firing out those uh, tar tears. And again, she's gonna use the new method against Mom's foot, where you just stand right against the door, let the arm spawn, and do everything you can to hit that. Again, this working out very well for her already. I'm just about halfway through this. That's up, Kara. How you doing tonight? It's a sad day for the color yellow. <laughs> yep, racers usually actually talk to each other on uh, call while they're racing, so most tend to know exactly where the other's at. Yes, they can watch where the other is, and uh, it's all perfectly legal. We're all here to have fun. It's not like anybody's like, oh, I'm on Caves 2 when they're actually fighting Mom's Heart or anything like that. Like, nobody's that... Nobody's done one of those things, so I, it's, you know, like, we're all in good nature. If, if one were to ask the other, like, well, where are you at right now? Like, oh, I'm fighting Mom's heart. Like, oh, God, okay. The other will start hurrying at that point. So it's a little bit of, a, of I guess, gamesmanship, if you will. I don't want to call it that. That's the wrong word. But 
but yeah, we let them watch where the others at, or uh, we usually they're on call talking to each other. RTC's a little bit under the weather, so she she isn't on call tonight with Mellow Ace, but normally she would be. So most of our racers do uh, talk to each other the, pretty much the entire race. Yeah, sportsmanship. Thank you. That was the word. Thank you. Could not think of the right word. Wow. Uh, give me one of those nights, guys. Anyways, Mulligan on Mellow Ace's side. You'll see as he's firing out tears. Also, you see that little blue fly that just went and attacked the tomato guy. Those will fire out of him from time to time. So that's actually a really, really good item. Yeah, Mulligan is a straight-up carry item for me. I, I adore the Mulligan. Give me that and, like, Guppy at the same time. Like, infinite flies. Oh, it's so good. I've actually had that combination, too. Guppy and the Mulligan is just like, here's a bunch of flies. Blah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to watch, too. That's some Cypher. How you doing? All right, into that second boss fight. We got, uh, excuse me, we got Monstro. almost called it Mellow. <laughs> Anyways, we got Monstro, the Mellow Ace is fighting. Whoops. So already about halfway through here, you can see those flies do a lot of extra damage, and whenever they fire out, you're going to be very, very happy. The mulligan is great, especially with this much health. You can stand right next to the boss and just have him do a ton of damage. Again, speaking of bosses, RTC just looking for a boss fight at this point. And uh, in, in, excuse me, in these races in the womb, and she's found it on that note, but all you're looking for are your boss fights in the womb. There are no item rooms, there are no stores. There's still secret rooms, super secret rooms, possible arcade, possible library, uh, possible challenge room, possible curse room. Uh, also blood challenge for that matter, but that lumped in with challenge rooms. Either way, all you're really looking for as a racer here, unless you need the health up from an arcade in some way, shape, or form, is pretty much just your boss fights. RTC having found hers will, ooh, face conquest. This has been a bit of a troll of a boss this week, so best of luck on this one. I hate Conquest. I think everybody does, though. I don't know one person that's like, oh, easiest boss fight ever. It depends on your build, honestly, but yeah, I wouldn't be too happy with this one. Yes, yeah, so you can find beggars and uh, demon beggars in the womb. You can also get god rooms and devil rooms. Ooh. Now we got the Pact on Mellow Ace's side, so that's going to increase his fire rate. Also give him a little bit more damage up. Replace those two uh, red hearts he just spent with blue soul hearts. So very nice find. All right, RTC doing a great job so far, hanging out behind some of these rocks and playing this very safe because those purple homing shots will hit the rock before they hit her. So great way to block these. Ooh, that was close. Still sitting at three hearts. Conquest about halfway dead already. We got the item room showing up finally for Meloway, so he'll be over to his boss fight immediately after this, but he's going to take... Doctor's Remote, not a half bad thing. So that'll replace his D6. That is a one-time use of Epic Fetus. I'm really surprised he didn't take that golden key. That would have been a free key save. Either way, it would have wasted, not wasted, but it would have spent a little bit more time, and he's trying to keep, uh, play catch up here. So down to about 25% health for RTC. Walking out to the middle. I was going to say that's going to be a little risky. So far, so good, though. 20% left. Again, we got Mellow ripping on through Fistula here. Again, here's one of the beautiful things about having the mulligan. When those flies come out, they're going to save your butt in some of these situations. Really nicely done. A little bit of speed increase with the wooden spoon. Oh, wow. That was extra shots of, of Crack the Sky by Conquest. That was absolutely evil. But RTC dodging them all. Just a little bit more damage to do here. Oh, Conquest quit flying. Yeah, Little Gish's tears aren't even showing up for some reason. <laughs> I see him firing usually. Like, he's not standing over rocks when he's doing it either. Like, right now he's over rock. That would be why he isn't firing here. But, yeah, they weren't showing up before either. Uh, Devil deal with nothing really useful for RTC. She does not want to spend her health at this point. One floor to go, and she's going to head on down to the womb too. And this time getting a normal one, except for Curse of the Lost, adding a couple extra rooms onto it for her. We can do that for you. Get the split link up. That's a grudge. How you doing? <laughs> I 
RTC's already got flying, so there's no real need for it. No real need for the pony. Alright, little chat for uh, Mellow Ace. That'll spawn some red hearts every couple of rooms that he clears. Ooh, Krampus and the Devil Deal. I was gonna say, wait for the uh, the one-time use of... There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I do the exact same thing. I fire Epic Fetus with my mouse, and so does Mellow Ace, obviously, because you just saw him aiming that there. But the one-time use of uh, Epic Fetus does a ton of damage there to Krampus. He's gonna wind up with a lump of coal after this fight. That'll, uh, as his shots stay on screen longer, they'll increase in size and damage output. All right, which way is the fight gonna be? Let's keep trying to the right. Ah, dead end. Actually, kind of surprised RTC isn't bombing out of this. There we go. Ooh, Curse of Darkness on Mellow Ace's side. Once again, we'll not be able to see his mini-map here on Necropolis 1. So, Depths 1, expansion version of it. So, tougher enemies and uh, room layouts. There you see the coal effect. If you pay real close attention, you'll see his shots actually just slightly growing in size. All right, RTC down to two and a half hearts here. Let's see, where is this going to be? Oh, God, I hate these rooms. I always wind up getting shot by these eyes. Yep, just like that. Ooh, half a heart. Eek. This is where it gets really worrisome. Everything in the womb and beyond hits you for one full heart of damage, so you have to be real careful down here. Random pill is random. Ah, and bad gas. Nothing that she needed. Oh, where to find something that she needs. Ooh, an arcade. That's exactly what RTC needs right now. And here's exactly how you should do this. Do not even worry about firing at the uh, the fistules there. There we go. Oh, unless they shoot at you like that, it'd be real cheap. Wow. Okay, that was evil. That was evil cheap. She was walking in to have the Cuban meat do the damage for her, basically, because if you're in that close, they usually don't shoot at you from freaking point blank range, and that time decided, yeah, we're going to. So, ouch. I yeah, have Christina down all the way back to the beginning here again. So, a little chubby there. That's one of the very few times that he's shown up in the races, honestly. But he'll fire out in the straight online, chew up anything in its path, and do some damage for her. But that leaves Mello now well in the lead here in Depths 1. Yep, that's why you never give up on a run. Even if you die, just keep on going with the other one, because now look at the lead the Mellow's got. Why would you consider abandoning the run? Because, you know, this is not the first time that this has happened this year where one of the racers has died. That's how this game works, guys. Nope, banned items are banned. Can't even pick them up. Because there's some of the banned items that you can't pick up and put back down in the first place, so we just lumped them all into the same category. Because at that point, everybody's like, well, that's why the Bible keeps re-rolling into the Bible. Well, Epic Fetus can re-roll into Epic Fetus, but we can't pick it up and put it back down, so... Works just the same. Well, and even at that point, we're not doing this game the same way that Cobalt does at 500 and 0. He's using the D6 all the time with just Isaac, so it's a little bit different with the fact that we can't really use the D6, and they're in a race situation, too. Completely different mindset. Cobalt's died in the races, guys. Keep that in mind. Ask our racers. They'll vouch for it. Cobalt's died during a race. Now, again, that's not the same save file that he's doing his undefeated streak on, so I'm not saying, like, oh, he's died, that's over, but I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that in a race situation, completely different thing completely different mindset of what you're doing. Yep, we've actually had a few people pick up some banned items and had to reset. We've also seen somebody re-roll an item that shouldn't have been re-rolled, pick up what was new and have to reset. Because you can't re-roll anything that's good in the first place. Ugh. 
All right, not the Devil Deal item uh, Mello was hoping for there. He gets Spectral Tears off of the Ouija board. Speaking of Devil Deal items, eh, that's, none of those are worth it. And I think he agrees. So moving on down to Depths 2, he's going to keep what health he has and keep on moving along here. Yeah, you can't touch the banned items at all. Yeah, nobody has taken toothpicks because they're pretty well useless, but we just put them in there so that they can reroll them if they want to. Because again, that's one you can't put back down, guys. Yeah, that devil room looking really bad again. These devil deals have not been that good tonight. That was Monster Manuel and again, Spectral Tear showing up on RTC's side, so blech to both of those. No thank you. Not worth spending hearts on. So she'll keep all those, work right back on over to her boss fight, and work on down towards her uh, cellar, excuse me, her caves one. God, I keep screwing those up. Yeah, if you accidentally reroll something, you can leave it with no penalty. We've seen a few people do that. We may as well not even bother with the outlawed item one, quite honestly, because they're all broken on my side. I can't see a single one of my emotes. Alright, so Mello fighting his mom's foot. Gonna get Grey Mom once again, so just the base level enemy spawning out of here. Pretty easy, not the easiest though. Uh, at least it's not Blue Mom. I'll say that much. The blue version of this is just horrendous. And she's been a troll this year, too. But RTC moving on. Jeez, what is with these terrible, terrible special rooms tonight? Like, really? Library with two really bad books. She won't even bother picking them up because she just wants no part of them. So, nothing doing in there. She's going to keep on moving along. Again, Caves 2 is two floors behind, uh, if you're wondering where Mellow Ace is at. Alright, Mellow Ace done with that. Gonna grab his Polaroid, move on along. Again, Polaroid would take you into the last floor if we were going that far. Uh, in this case, if Mellow were to get down to half a heart or find a way to get rid of his blue hearts, which he's seen Guppy's paw, so that's probably not gonna happen. But, if he were to get rid of all of his red hearts and have nothing but blues, if you get down to below one red heart, that will actually, every time you get hit, just like he just did there, would have given him a five second damage shield. So again, being that he's sitting at that half a blue heart up there, he will at some point, if he gets hit enough, get down to half a red and get five seconds worth of invincibility. All right, so there's RTC's item room. And, oh, speaking of doctor's remote, and she wants no part of that either. She's going to keep her D6. So unlike Mello, she just does not want that extra gigantic bomb, and she'll be walking on out of here. Speaking of bombs, Mello going to grab a few extras here. And again, after his dead end, he's still just looking for boss fight here. Oh, that's right, he's got the wafer too. Ha ha ha. I totally forgot that was his first item that he picked up, because he almost left it behind at first. But yeah, Mello's got the wafer, so everything should hit you for one full heart of damage. Mello's only going to take half a heart. Yeah, I used to race all the time, but I'm the commissioner and I commentate every race. How would I be able to commentate my own races? Because it would be solely based off of what I was doing, and I wouldn't even look to see what my opponent was doing at any point. Because if I did, it would slow me down. Alright, so RTC fine in her other boss fight here. So she'll be on her way down to her depths momentarily. So working quickly up to her Mello Zed, who keeps finding his dead ends here on Womb 1 again, just looking for a boss fight. Although at this point, I don't think you'd argue too much if you were to come across a library with something like, oh, maybe the uh, Book of Belial in it. Anything with damage up would be really awesome for him right now. So I'm sure he'd be perfectly happy to find any sort of thing like that. 
We got the Fallen once again, so guaranteed Devil Deal item on RTC side as soon as she's done with this. Alright, about some range down pills. Ouch, not what Mellow Ace was looking for there. Death card, very good usage of that. That'll wind up doing a bunch of damage to everything in the room, and I hate the enemies that Mellow Ace had in his room right there, so great use. And let's see, this ought to be, I'm thinking, the way over towards this boss fight. I don't think that way up at the top could actually spawn into anything else, so this should be, there we go. I was going to say one or two more rooms, and he ought to find his boss fight here. Ooh, this is going to work out nicely. Oh, almost cleared the entire room with one epic fetus right there. Nicely done by Mellow Ace. That Doctor's Remote once again being very kind. Ooh, speaking of kind, how about technology as a boss item? Yes, please. RTC will take technology and start firing out laser tears. So this is turning into a real nice build on her side, too. Definitely don't count her out yet. So here we see Skull Axe just about done. There is that glitchy bomb in the corner. I love when that happens. You can actually push that around. It's kind of funny to do. Like, if that ever happens, just start walking. It won't injure you, don't worry. But you can actually push it around the room. It's really hilarious to do. Same thing with the uh, Poison Cloud. If you get, like, Pestilence and it glitches out like that, same thing. You can go ahead and have fun just push the thing around the room, push it into the corner, push it into the wall. It's a lot of fun. He's actually doing it right there. He's listening. <laughs> Mellow's listening. So there's the Magic 8 Ball. That'll give him a little bit of fuzz. Wow. Push the hell out of that. How did that get all the way to the top of the room? Either way, grabbing a little bit of shot speed increase, and uh, that one card, the Fool, will teleport him back to the entrance room of this floor if you were to use it. I think instead he'll probably... I was going to say, he's probably not going to take that pill. So like I said, perfectly okay for the racers to listen, obviously they do. <laughs> I'm going to say Mello's probably going towards his boss fight. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank God Mello's got 12 bombs. He can just bomb right back out of these dead end rooms. RTC coming across Gish once again. So we've seen the little Gish that does uh, a reward off of that. Hopefully this time it'll fire tears for her. That'd be kind of handy. Yep, taking time to pick anything up costs you in a race. Not costs you necessarily, but we've seen ones that have come down to literally like one to two seconds worth of a race. And if you think about picking up an item, when you do the Zelda thing and like hold it up over your head and it tells you what it is, it's about a second. So one item could make or break it, quite honestly. So if you don't pick up something that's kind of useless to you and you just leave it behind, because uh, there's 198, what are the chances you're really going to see it a second time in a race situation? So they'll tend to leave it behind in the sake of, like, saving that one to two seconds. I, if you think about it, it's huge. One to two seconds is huge in a race. Ooh, gonna try for some pills. I can't believe Mel's gonna do this. He's actually going to hold on to that for later. There's a better chance, by the way, if you hold on to pills until such time as you're actually down to just uh, the point where it could kill you. So one heart or less. There's a good chance that that turns into something that'll heal you or give you a health up. So that's probably not a bad thing. By the way, Mel, your mouse is still on screen. There you go. Alright, so onto that boss fight. We got it lives, obviously, aka Mom's Heart here for Mellow Ace. So he's looking to take himself a one to nothing lead if he can get through this. Again, sitting at four hearts, he's got the wafer, so that's eight hits. Technically, the eighth one would kill him, but seven hits that he can take. He's looking really, really good for himself right now, even though it seems that he's at very low health. So he's looking pretty good here. What's up, Creeper Iron? How you doing? What's up, Jay? Good to see you guys tonight. <laughs> that boss fight.
I know why he's using it. I don't want to see mouses on screen. I flat out told our racers that before the year, so he should have had it hidden in the first place. So I'm going to remind him every time it stays on screen that he needs to move it. <laughs> Just how that works. Because it's one click with an OBS. It's really not hard to hide it. Maybe nine hits and one Polaroid. He's only going to get one Polaroid out of it. Oh, he's got Scapular, too. That's a good point. So he will pop back up to the point where he's only got the one heart. Either way, he's already halfway through. He hasn't taken a hit. So, well, now he has. Right as I say that. Right as I say those words. Let's commentator curse the man. Why don't we? Good God. All right. I'm going to stop saying things like that. Either way, uh, vamela has got plenty of health left. He isn't even going to get to the point where we're going to see that proven. So I don't think it's really gonna matter quite honestly <laughs> i now stop commentator cursing the man right now because <laughs> that's just being quite evil honestly <laughs> oh man And there you see it. So Mellow Ace with that last little bit of damage is going to take out Mom's Heart. So very nicely done, sir. He's got himself a one to nothing lead here in a best two out of three. If I can find the right keyboard. There it is. Aha! So we got ourselves a one to nothing lead. Like I said, we'll get both of these racers reset. And uh, back to the very beginning. Again, we see RTC with a great comeback here. Got all the way to the womb one. So like I said, never give up on runs, guys and gals. Like, look at how close she got here. Not like that wasn't a really great comeback in the first place, so... Like I was saying, we'll get them both reset, though. We'll get round number two underway momentarily. We'll vacuum the dog. We'll be right back. Go vacuum your dog. Maybe they'll look like that, and the tongue will hang out, and it'll just be like, oh, yeah, best thing ever, human. Best thing ever. Ah, oh, keep vacuuming that spot. Yeah, that spot. No, down there. There you go. <laughs> love that gif. I swear to God, I love that gif. <laughs> Either way, we'll be right back in about a minute or so, and uh, we'll get the uh, the next race underway, guys. So thank you again. We'll get the link in chat for both, you, or for, uh, both of the racers, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back and we're clear. So let me get this flip back on over here. We should have both of our racers good to go. Let me find the right button. Aha! Aha, found the button. It was on the vacuum. It was on the vacuum, human. It was right there. Aha. Anyways, we got Mellow Ace with a uh, one to nothing lead here over RTC. So we're just about to start round number two between these two. And again, Mellow Ace looking for a two to nothing lead. Mellow, er, excuse me. RTC gonna look to tie this up one apiece and force a pivotal game three. 
And there you see, poof. Wait, what was that? I didn't see nothing. I, I saw nothing. I saw nothing. Either way, so like I said, we're going to start back up from scratch. We got them both reset. We'll race through the womb two once again. So if you two are ready, if you want to fire some shots, I see RTC doing it already. But if you two want to fire some more after I said that, and let me know for sure that you heard that. And then I'll do the countdown for you too. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm sure Mello can hear me being that he took his gif off the screen at the perfect time. But either way, I'm just making sure. Awesome. There we go. Both are firing shots. So let me do the countdown for you too. And then again, as soon as I say it, you two can be off and running. But three... Two, one, and as soon as you hear that, good luck to you both. Again, there may be a slight delay between the two when they take off, but that's just because they're both listening to me on a uh, slight delay, and uh, yeah, it's just the way of the world. So nothing you can do about it. Ooh, nice. Congrats, J-Red. All right. We kept, wow, Doctor's Remote showing up for the third time already tonight. RTC going to say no thanks and reset that run. And again, hold down the R button. We'll get you uh, reset within about two to three seconds. Ooh, now that worked out nicely for Mellow Ace. Couple bombs and the small rock. A little bit of damage up, fire rate increase, and movement speed decrease. So he's off to a very good start over on his side. Mind you, he's walking a little bit slow, but uh, for the damage up and the fire rate, you'll take that any day. As long as you're not at, like, hey, I've got one speed. Hey, <laughs> let's take his speed down. No, bad idea. Don't do that. There's, there is a limit. All right, we got Mom's bottle of pills. Speaking of things that could get a little risky, uh, yeah, Mel going to take one pill and I believe replace it. Yes, he will. So he's going to leave the pills behind. Just take the one with him. He'll probably save that for a little bit later. Going to face Gemini for his first boss. RTC looking at her new item room and new boss fight here. Ooh, how about that? We were talking about how rare uh, piercing shots were last round. RTC's got him now. She's got Cupid er Cupid's arrow. Wow, I can't talk. So you're going to see her shots will actually continue on through enemies. There you go. As soon as she... Well, it's kind of in a corner. You can't really tell. There you see it. As her shots pass through the widow here, they're actually continuing on. So if there's another enemy behind it, just like those spiders, you'll kill them both. That's a man almighty. How you doing? Hey, good to see you, Reno. Be doing better if my downstairs neighbors weren't blasting freaking reggaeton right now, because you guys could probably hear that. <laughs> Anyways, box of items, along with the uh, the world card. Very nice find. Mello will take that with him. That'll wind up revealing the entire map, including the compass effect for him. RTC's got a, uh, we call them bacon hearts. They're actually eternal hearts, but that half white heart on the floor is going to turn into one full red heart container on the next floor as soon as she goes down there. So that'll be nice. Let me get the split link for you. Oops. Let me actually type in chat. That might help. Yeah, it's not a man in charge of the Fantasy League. Ooh, how about another Eternal Heart? I don't know that RTC meant to pick that up quite yet, but nonetheless, ooh, speaking of hearts, how about the Relic as well? So that every four rooms uh, RTC clears, that's going to spawn one blue Soul Heart for her. Well, okay, I said it's not a man, and your other option was person. <laughs> okay, you may need to get out more. <laughs> there are basically two choices in the matter there. <laughs> Alright, we got Roid Rage for uh, Mellow. That is slightly mismarked as an item. That is actually just speed increase, and it's something like 40% speed increase. Like, it's insane. So it's a lot of extra speed for him. One bomb well placed there. Oh, Larry going to walk just outside of range of the second one, though. Either way, Larry Jr., the blue version here, is going to wind up dropping a soul heart for Mello, guaranteed, as soon as this fight's done. By the way, here's a hint. She's one of my mods. You may want to watch what you say.
Alright, so we got Mellow's boss fight on the left side. We got RTC just about over halfway through hers already. She's roasting Duke of Flies here. Excuse me, sorry about that. Hiccups, gotta love them. Either way, RTC ripping on through her Duke of Flies. Gonna wind up with Mr. Squeezy. That'll be a fire rate increase along with those two soul hearts. And she'll be moving on down to her Caves 1. Maybe Caves XL if she gets a loading screen. And indeed it is. Curse of the Labyrinth means an XL floor. So once again, it's an XL race for God knows whatever reason. But RTC with, yet yeah, uh, it's gotta be what, her fourth or her fifth XL floor at this point? It's getting kind of ridiculous on her side. But a Caves XL, both of her Caves floors combined into one. So two item rooms, two boss fights. Both of those will be back to back. It's a matter of finding the uh, the item rooms separately throughout the floor. Yeah, but that's the best kind of robbery. All right, so Melo on into his boss fight. Going to get Peep once again, though a different room layout than last time. And you can see it's already cost him a half a heart as the uh, the urine stretched out a little bit further on Melo and actually hit him there. All right, RTC into somewhat of a dead end room. She does have a challenge room at the end of it, but not at full health isn't going to be able to get in anyways. Probably wouldn't want to do it anyways. It's a little bit of a time waster, especially in a race situation. You tend not to get that much great stuff. Oh, that's right. She has more than four hearts. Her dirt. She could have gotten into it if she wanted to. I'm being stupid. I forgot about the, uh, the heart uh, limitation on that. All right, a little bit of health up for uh, Mello. He's going to be moving on down to Caves 2. So at this point, we'll call that a very slight advantage, even though he does have a Curse of Darkness again and no mini-map available to him. But we'll call that a very slight advantage on Mello's side right now, as technically speaking, they're both on the same floor. RTC's got a lot of stuff to find here, but it's all dependent on when she comes across boss fights here. Speaking of, there's the first of two item rooms for her. And, ugh, yeah, no thanks. How about Kamikaze? And a big fat no on RTC side. Uh, so that is an item that basically straps a bomb to your chest and hurts you every time you use your space bar. Now, again, you can hold the walls, and basically, assuming that you don't open up a door with it, you, as long as you're doing it correctly, you're not going to take damage. But, again, only two of our racers have made it through an entire race this season holding onto that item without accidentally killing themselves. So it's pretty risky. Honestly, I wouldn't go near it. That's just me. I don't like doing the glitch with it. Uh, it never really works right for me, and I tend to kill myself far more often than I should. And most of our racers have kind of thought about the same thing. It's killed a good six or seven of our racers, and I'm not sure many want to go near it anymore. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> yeah, right, does that feel like your wallet after a Steam sale? Like, I, I gotta imagine that does. Yeah, spending that type of money, that's like, oh, there were like seven Steam sales, oh god. <laughs> All right, another dead end room. We got Mellow Ace out of his, uh, excuse me, out of his store. Wow, I can't talk tonight. My allergies are starting to get the best of me here as my nose is clogged up. I do apologize, guys. I really do. <laughs> the Steve Steel made Detroit bankrupt. Ouch. <laughs> Buzzing too soon? I'm waiting for the uh, the troll engine to engage. That wasn't me that that actually came up with a joke. Either way, we got Guppy's head on the left side for Mellow Ace, and that's going to every room, just like you just saw right there, spawn anywhere between two and five attack flies for him. And you can see they're actually doing a great job and coming back to him. That's kind of amazing. But lots of extra damage there for Mellow Ace. That's actually a really good item. Also, one of the uh, pieces of Guppy. You only need two more at this point to become the full-on Guppy Cat, but that may be a little too late in the run for that to happen. But again, you never know. One devil deal could make or break that and completely change this. But again, RTC finding herself her second item room here. Heading on in. She's going to wind up with a ball chinian, so a little bit more health up. Speaking of health up, whoop, just whiffing on that eternal heart. There you go. Mellow finishing off his Caves 2 boss. Going to get a health up and god room out of this. So our, what, our second god room of the night, I believe. And the relic once again. So dueling relics every four rooms now on both sides. The racers will each get themselves a uh, a blue eternal heart. Mellow moving down to the depths, getting himself a loading error. And thanks for adding me on stackable cups. <laughs> you see this? You see this? 
getting himself an XL floor. I saw that in the background already. And you can tell, obviously, he's got the compass, which I totally forgot to mention, out of his store on the last floor. But the compass showed him where all of his rooms were. That was the world card he just popped, and now he's going to know exactly what rooms to walk through to get to where he needs to go. As he literally just got himself into a dead end there. So he's going to have quite a bit of room to clear. I'm, you know, he's only got one or two extra rooms to clear to get to that second item. We'll see what he chooses. All right, so speaking of boss fights, RTC already about 10%, 15% of the way through Pestilence here. She's going to wind up with the first cube of meat, believe it or not, on the other uh, races. Uh, interesting. Horror Babylon on uh, on Meloway Society. See the uh, monster that turned him into. That'll up your damage for the room you're in. Also, obviously, make you a lot larger target. Uh, but again, only if you're down at half a red heart. Or below, for that matter. If you get, uh, let's say, Guppy's Paw to show up and you use up all your red hearts, that's permanently enacted. So if you're the blue baby, same thing, permanently enacted. So there's that cube of meat. A little bit of health for RTC. And moving on in for the Duke of Flies this time. So again, no shield for the Duke of, Or, I'm sorry, the Husk. Boy, you think I can name enemies correctly. But there won't be any fly shield for the Husk. That's what I was trying to get across. And he's going to get torn to shreds by this piercing shot by RTC. And just like that, that boss fight's over. And she'll be on down to her depths momentarily. So Cat of Nine fails, aka Tails. Uh, actually increases her shot speed on screen by 16%. Ooh, check this out. Do we have dueling XL floors? And back-to-back, -back for that matter, for RTC? Uh-oh. This has happened before. Is it going to happen again? What's up, Strike? How you doing? Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Come on, Flash. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You want some bacon? We got some bacon for you, Flash. We got, oh god, that fly troll and mellow ace. There we go. Whoo! I, oh, hi there, Fox. I see you. <laughs> do, 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 Anytime now. We're gonna have one of these. There we go. Thank you, Flash. I was gonna say, we're gonna have one of these campout nights, aren't we? We're about to bust out the guitar and start singing Kumbo Ya and making freaking s'mores here. There we go, now she's popped on through. So she's gonna get a, well, I would say normal Depths 1, but she got a, a Necropolis version, which again is the expansion version of it. Well, it may be a simple floor, maybe an XL floor. Either way, we saw both happen. So she got the exact same thing to happen before and it was an XL floor. So again, we're disproving that theory that everybody has that if it takes that long, it's guaranteed to be a normal floor. It's not. So everybody ought to get over that one pretty quickly, because we've proven that about three times. Just this week, for that matter. Which is funny, because that's right when everybody started bringing it up. And, oh, there's no way that if you get a loading screen that long, you get an XL floor. And then immediately after saying it, the XL floor showed up. <laughs> Wait, what? You don't know the greatness that is s'mores? Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Oh, no. Please look that up. Please. S apostrophe M-O-R-E-S. Go look that up on Google. And then make them and enjoy. Because if you don't know what they are, oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry for you. Also, I just gave you a serious addiction, and now I'm very sorry too, but <laughs> please go make some. Find out what they are, go make them. Yep, proven that a random game is totally random. Everything about it, totally, totally, totally random. And it's a beautiful thing. That's why I love this game so much. Oh, s'mores are definitely overrated. Don't misunderstand. I'm not saying, like, oh, it's the greatest thing on the face of the earth, but they're good, and if you don't know what they are, try one. Oh, my God. Especially in the case of not knowing what they are. Ooh, all these green shots. Where do you dodge here? There we go. RTC finally getting into a clearing here. I was going to say, where do you dodge that? Like, there was nowhere she could go. It turned into green bullet hell on RTC. But gonna clear out a room again. We got about half the damage gone off of little or off of Gish, I should say, for Mellow Ace as his first of two boss fights back to back here. And again, I wasn't really calling much because we all saw exactly where he was going. The sack of pennies following him should kind of right itself. It drops a couple of or a coin every couple of rooms that Mellow Ace is gonna clear. Kind of useless at this point, so not really worth mentioning. But there you have it. <gasps> Wait, what? No idea what soda or graham crackers are. Wow. I, I just... I don't even know what to say anymore.
<laughs> it just makes no damn sense. <laughs> Anyways, there's a little gist showing up for uh, Mellow Ace. That'll fire out those tear balls. Those tear balls. Those tar balls. That's what I meant to say as tears. Uh, we got Guardian Angel on the right side for RTC. So that is a double speed orbital. That's also going to take that cube of meat that she has and double the orbiting speed of it. So that's a lot more shots blocked on her side. That'll also do damage to anything it walks into. <laughs> Excuse me. Oof. I hate those rooms. Oh, God. How about that lag ball that hits every night in Atlanta? There you see it. It's all good now. So Meloy's moving on through that lag ball about, eh, we'll say 20%, 15% uh, actually, of the way through his Blue Mom fight. We were talking about this earlier. Blue Mom is freaking nasty. The enemy she spawns, I detest. So again, welcome to the internet lag ball. And let me fast forward through this. It'll probably clear it. Lo and behold, it did. Welcome to me having Comcast and not liking to talk to Twitch too much. Especially when I'm watching three casts at the same time. Probably not really helping my connection. Alright, so RTC also finding a boss fight here. One full floor behind at the moment, though. Yeah, RTC's rooms are just, like, being brutal right now. Like, I don't even have any better way to explain that than just, like, the game decided, Hey, you're gonna take damage! Like, that's literally all it just did right there. Like, wow, these rooms have been brutal to her, but she gets through with half a heart here. Question is, where do you go to try to heal, or do you just go for the boss fight? She might just be going for the boss fight. Mellow on down to his womb one again. Let me refresh his. Hopefully that gets through the lag ball. This happens from time to time. Welcome to the internet. Anyways, there's that lag ball clearing up, like I said. It's all the connection between myself, the server that he's casting to, and just that shit happens. Either way, moving into his first boss fight of the womb. Oh, God. War. Ah, oh, that was lame. RTC down again. Ouch. That was a lame cheap shot there by War. I just happened to see that out of the corner of my eye. So she gets sniped and back to the beginning. Ouch. So Triacnid over on the uh, the left side here. Just about over halfway done here for Mellow Ace. And he's going to have one more floor to possibly find himself a 2-0 winner. But yeah, that was a lame insta shot. Just like, oh, hey, boop, dead. Thanks. Like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? You got to have lightning reflexes or a little bit more than half a heart. About the only two ways that that's going to work out well for you. Either way, working out well. Mellow Ace, a little bit more health up. Still holding on to that one up as well. He's got almost a full heal going on down to a Curse of Darkness ridden Utero 2. So we'll not be able to see his mini-map. I just dropped something. That was smooth. Oh. Either way, but he's not going to be able to see his mini-map, so he's just looking for his boss fight again. That'll be Mom's Heart. And uh, again, he's got quite the good bit of health and let alone another life to deal with if should anything happen. and get through that again. These rooms always take a while anyway, so you probably weren't missing much but him dodging a little bit. So again, PhD on uh, RTC side, just for a uh, note, would actually give her nothing but good and or neutral pills. Wow, Mellow coming across this mom's hard fight already. That's what you call an internal compass, folks. When it overrides a curse of darkness, you've got yourself an internal compass. That's quite nice. Either way, a little bit of a health up uh, for RTC and damage up with the meat. That is mismarked. Uh, PhD, though, like I said, nothing but good and or neutral pills. It'll also have a chance, I think it's like every couple of frames, I forget the number, but of every couple of frames that will actually identify the pill for you as well. Yeah, PhD is a huge carry item. I'm in complete agreement, God. Complete agreement on that. I love the PhD. That makes every pill you take worthwhile, or every pill you find worthwhile to take, I should say. Let me quick pause and unpause Mellows here. Uh-oh, I think I moved his screen. Ah, eh, we'll deal with it later. <laughs> actually, this could work. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Anyways, finding mom's heart. Let me resize him to road team. Okay, cool. That did work. Sweet. That may work later. We'll see. Either way, already about 10% of the way through it. RTC got a lot of catching up to do at this point. Maybe too little too late. We may have our second 2-0 game, sadly. But yeah, that cheap shot by War is the only thing that really did this. And that internal compass by Mela wasn't exactly hurting the cause either. Yes, it is, Thunder. Yes, it is. Now, RTC having a hell of a nice run here again, so the uh, the all stats up, man. She's, she's looking pretty nice on this one, but not going to be enough again. Melo already over halfway through Mom's Heart. A little bit more damage to do. Hey, 
And we know what to do. Famine showed up, so we get one more chance here in this race. Everybody <sighs> to Famine. And say goodbye to him as he's gone. A little bit more damage to do here for Meloace, though. Ooh, how about that? Another immediate item room for RTC. And once again, the Relic showing up. Again, that would have been every four rooms. She would have gotten another blue heart here. But a little bit more damage. There you see, uh, Idlibs will stay out the rest of the time against Mellow Ace here. So all he has to do is pretty much stand still, keep direct shooting it. Avoid that glob, and I was going to say, wow, that got a little closer than I thought I would. Either way, avoid those globins real quick. Avoid anything else that spawns. Just a little bit more, about 15% damage, and he may have himself a 2 to nothing win here. And with just about five, six more shots, boom, 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 boom. Oh, a couple got blocked. Do, 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 boom, done. There you see it. So Melo has got himself a two to nothing victory. Very well done on both sides again. That troll and shot by war was the only thing that kept RTC out of being really close in this. That, well, Melo's internal compass probably didn't exactly hurt the cause either, really, really honestly. That was a hell of an internal compass against the Curse of Darkness.